Hello and welcome to the Man Cave here at Wistful Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. This is an introductory video that I'm doing for uh, work that I've been actively trying to complete since February of this year, February 2019, it's true. And I'll tell you a little bit about it and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the effort that went into it. I had at one time three motorcycles in my garage. I had over here in this uh, blank space a 2014 BMW S1000 single R. I had the Aprilia 2017 Tuono factory and I had the Ducati V4S, the famous Phantom, as modified by Jared Capizzi and uh, Dado Rados. These three machines at one time, uh, can't have three, so one had to go and it turned out it was the BMW. But I have a stretch of road near here that I refer to as my own private Nürburgring. And I think people in general that enjoy motorcycles or cars, driving cars, have a little section of road that they too can call their own private Nürburgring. Maybe long, maybe short, maybe it's just a freeway on-ramp. In my case, I'm lucky enough to live in the countryside here at San Diego, so it's beautiful, twisty country roads. And I finally finished up getting all three of them on video and I'm going to uh, finally edit that and put it together and hopefully you'll enjoy the effort. Uh, I will do it in two different formats. I'm going to do it so that there's a segment or a format for each particular motorcycle, one for the Beamer, one for the Ducati, and one for the uh, Aprilia. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to call it a uh, director's cut, and that will be all three of them put together. That'll be pretty lengthy for the things that uh, I've done in the past. I'm not sure of the total time, but probably run over 20 minutes anyway, 25 minutes. The others will be around 10 or 11 minutes. So you can decide if you don't want to see anything at all about a Ducati, riding a Ducati, or if you could care less about the uh, Tuono, for instance, but are vitally interested in how that BMW, how I felt about the BMW, then you can just concentrate on that segment or Ducati or Aprilia, whatever your taste may be, or grab a cold brew, hot cup of tea, whatever is your favorite tipple, and sit down and watch all three. But in any case, uh, again, I'm going to say I just hope you enjoy it. And what I'd like to hear from uh, the people who see this out there is a comment a, did they enjoy it, of course, but also a comment, what is your own private Nürburgring? Where is your favorite section of road and uh, what is it about it that you like? If you can do that in a few sentences, that'd be great. It'll be enjoyable for me to read. I love reading the uh, comments that people put down and I like hearing about it. And uh, tell me, what is your private Nürburgring. Meantime, stand by and I hope you enjoy the video or these videos. That's all for now.
okay your private Nürburgring little downhill S sections here what is your private Nürburgring I always contend that anybody who rides or drives and enjoys the act of doing it if riding or driving for you is just a means to get from A to B well then you may not relate to this but if you actually enjoy driving or riding and you probably have a favorite road or something in your neighborhood or area may not even be a road might even be just a little section of uh, freeway on ramp or off ramp that you enjoy traveling because it has uh, just those aspects that make your drive pleasant the way you want it to be so that fellow just hopped out in front of us in his big black Cadillac and uh, what I'd like to do is compare my plan has been to do this video for a long long time I actually started back in February believe it or not I wanted to ride my private little uh, Nürburgring with all three of my machines. Now at the time I had three, I do not any longer. I sold the 2014 BMW S1000R in the middle of the year and that's now uh, riding around Manhattan. Good luck to that gentleman, very nice fellow. And uh, there's a lovely little turn in here. Can we holler around the corner and power out? Sure we can. So, um, the idea here is that uh, for me, my uh, private Nürburgring is, needs to be pretty. It's got to look nice. I, I, I want something that uh, really looks nice. And secondarily, it has to have some curves. Uh, there are guys who might say, hey, my private Nürburgring is a straight piece of road and I can drop the hammer and go as fast as I can. I can. Uh, that would not qualify my particular case. I like a pretty road and uh, I like a road that has some curves in it. Now, you don't have to be going all that fast to enjoy the curves, as we cannot, because we've now picked up another truck. But you can at least let loose your inner Marquez or Rossi <laughs> or Iannone or, let's see, who else can I think of? Dovizioso. I think Dovizioso is the most appropriate, perhaps, on this machine. After all, Ducati Panigale. So, uh, Dovizioso, uh, I'm guessing, is, is the guy who would re we could perhaps relate to the most on, on this particular machine. And uh, having said that then, uh, that's what I like. I don't like a straight road. I like one that has some curves in it. I like it to be a little in the countryside and I like it to be somewhat technical. So those are my attributes of the ideal private Nürburgring. I'd like to hear what yours are. I'd like to hear the location and I'd like to hear how you define your uh, private Nürburgring. Then the other thing I want to talk about is riding the Ducati uh, as compared to the other machines. The uh, wonderful thing about the Ducati is that it it is really uh, what's uh, can't get it in first gear here. Come on, first gear. What's interesting about the Ducati is that uh, it actually makes you. It's a really capable machine, but it is engineered so as it makes you feel like you're a better rider. It rewards smoothness. There's no doubt about that. It does reward smoothness. So you need to be aware of that. It doesn't like a ham-fisted control. It doesn't like a heavy throttle input uh, necessarily. It likes gradual acceleration to get you up into the sweet spot of the motor. But it, it makes you feel like you're a better rider than you are. It really does. Um, Having said that, the, the interesting thing about the Ducati is I, I'm sure I don't ride it to anywhere near its peak potential, 60, 70 percent, I don't know. But a person like, let's say, 650E, who's a really expert rider, spends a lot of time on sport bikes, spends a lot of time at the track and things like that, he could ride this, come away convinced that he's done a great job of it, and have really enjoyed the experience, 
and uh, I can do so as well. So that's the marvelous job that Ducati put into engineering this machine. Uh, the other thing about it that uh, really appeals on these kind of roads is it is very responsive. I mean, I'm not even thinking about going around these turns, really. It's just, it's kind of just wishing it around the turns and it's doing it pretty much on its own. I don't, um, I don't have to consciously think about uh, riding it or pointing it or anything like that. You just kind of wish it around the curves and it, it, it goes where you'd like it to go. Uh, I don't know if that's a right way to explain it, but I think that's part of that smoothness thing. It, it really does um, have an inherent smoothness that makes it rewarding to take through those twistings. So, quick observations. Riding my favorite Nürburgring. I hope I got some useful uh, video that time. It has been a bit of a struggle because uh, it seems like every time I've gone out, I've either had the camera in the bad spot or I've gotten, and I have pretty much this time, or I've gotten behind some uh, really slow traffic. But I think I got a little bit of footage I can stitch together there and uh, I'm going to share it with everybody. And again, what I'd like to hear from all my family and friends and anybody who watches this, you don't even have to be my friend. <laughs> In fact, it doesn't matter. You could say you're my friend, though. That would be nice. I don't mind having lots of friends. And uh, tell me about your private Nürburgring. Tell me, A, where it is. You don't have to tell me the exact location, but in let's say in proximity to your lifestyle. Is it, is it close to your house or is it on the way to work? take a little on-ramp at work and try to nail that apex every time or is it uh, that you have to wait on the weekends for a weekday a week weekend to come around when you finally get the chance to open it up and and let it rip so I'd like to hear about that please share that with me and uh, I think we can start a lively little debate here on the channel so I'm going to be quiet now because we're out of, we most definitely will be hitting some traffic here and I'm kind of out of the, uh, what's probably the most exciting part of this trip. Oh, little oil on the road, yep, clear behind us, we can go now. And uh, I'm gonna head it back and see if I can stitch something together here. Don't forget to tell me about uh, your private Nürburgring. Love to hear about it. All right, over and out. Enjoy the ride.